guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 4 of Solo Leveling, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I'm so scared. Well, that kind of says, like, how much you've been training, so. The hell if I know. If you don't do anything, you might die. It would, it would get f***ing stuck. Oh my god. Damn. Oh, okay.
maybe a big difference, but, you know, we won't know until the next time you combat. Great. Maybe you gotta be level 10 to buy something. That's it. Only if, well, I mean, th that's okay, but still, that's something better than nothing. But I'm guessing, I thought it would be, like, at least 40. Exactly. True, but we have to try. Shit. Oh my god. Of course, he bought more. The one time that I really wish he could dual wield, but maybe he might not get that ability until, like, later on. You telling me nobody has gone in ever since that popped up? Okay, times that by, like, you get, it was 20, right? So at least you should have a lot more.
You know, I think if I was her, especially with how it was in the last portion, I would have just dropped out. She's the only one that they can depend on. Okay, and red, uh, of course. See, this is also at the same time. He should have had backups on weapons, but I get it. it. It's your first time doing this by yourself. So it's just like, oh, what the heck do I need to buy? Damn. And yet you're still, oh, he's still going to try. Oh my God. There are like multiple times when this Nick is just hitting him. Oh my God. Where he should have been dead.
I mean, only if you had an Aleko on the sword, but you could stab it. I take that back. Holy shit. Okay, you can go home now, right? Well, it's nighttime, so it's least gotta go be like what two, three in the morning. Hmm? Uh, okay. Oh. How long were you down there for? <laughs> but we're supposed to do that. We're supposed to take pictures. <laughs> Lee. I mean, at least change the weapon first. Yeah, we're at home. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, with some guy. His arm, though, like... <laughs> Okay, I still feel majorly bad for Lee because I get it. Even a week later, I if I was in the same situation as her or anyone else who really survived from that, oh, I have major PTSD. I, I think that's when I would probably be like, <laughs> maybe it's time for me to change careers or some shit. I'm like, mm. But like, I can't be here anymore. I can't do this anymore. I have major PTSD from this. And, and, you know, some people feel like that in jobs. I do. I do. We're not going to talk about that, but. <laughs> um, but I was at least expecting her and Janu to, like, at least interact today and stuff. Because, like, they're in the same area. But, no, I'm pro we're probably not going to see that for, like, a hot minute. But the fact is, he is now at level 15. He got a C-rank weapon. Baby is a little bit more stronger. He's, still he's not OP. Let's just say that. He's not fucking OP as much as some of my other favorite type of guy is an anime who are ridiculously OP that it's not even funny, but he is getting up there. Everything that he, you know, he used to struggle at, he doesn't really struggle at anymore, and so I'm super proud of him. Like, I mean, you know, to take down a snake and, and without using the sword in the last minute and just, like, puncturing it with your hands, sir? Okay. Um... You, you do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. But he, he looks, even though he still looks the same physical body and everything, you can see that he ha he's getting an amount of change in him. And so, slowly but surely, something tells me we're going to see him look how he currently looks in, um, in, the, in the series and such. I I've only seen one, a couple of pictures of him in his newer, like, outfits and everything like that. But he, he, he looks, he, he looks good, I'll tell you that, because shit, like... <laughs> I, I mean, I was like, oh, like when I when I first saw him, I was like, oh, he looks so cute. Oh my god! And then you see him in the opening, and then you see him in, in the freaking comic, and I'm like, this the same guy? Like, I, I was so freaking confused. But no, super duper proud of him what he's done. Like, damn, like I don't think most of us can say that about people, you know, <laughs> doing all that. It. But no, seriously, hopefully next week we do get something with him and Lee because. I, what I'm hoping is continuing the, with this, especially for her, we do get, like, moments where she possibly goes into, like, therapy, because if she still is getting a lot of PTSD, even now officially a week, we're probably gonna go into almost, like, a month where she is still struggling. Like, it, it's sad that, you know, someone had to call her and be like, oh, hey, here's a boss here, I need help, and, you know, we only have a certain amount and such. But because of the fact that she backed out on the previous one, it's like she had no other choice. So I'm just hoping that it doesn't get, her PTSD doesn't really screw her up. But I get it, because like I said, if it was me in that same predicament, and especially if it's something that traumatizing, especially with what we saw in the first two episodes, um, I would definitely rethink like everything I'd be doing. I'd be like, yeah, this ain't for me anymore. Like, mm -mm, no, thank you. Like, thank you, but no, thank you. So hopefully she gets the help that she really does need. Hopefully. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode four of So Little Leveling. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode five. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.